Okay, let's talk about using color to draw attention to a word. This one's kind of a trick because you actually use two complete text boxes, but you alter the appearance of just one of them. So here's my text box right here. I'm going to go ahead and select it and then do a control D to duplicate it. Or you could do a copy paste if that's what you usually do. So now I've got this second text box on top of my slide. I'm going to kind of move it out of the way so I can see it a little bit better. And now let's just say that the word that we want to draw attention to in our paragraph is the word specific. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And then up here on my home tab, I can change the color of that text to something else. Okay, so that's done. Next thing is we can apply an animation to this top text box. And the fade animation works really well. So on the animations tab, we're going to choose add animation. And then we'll choose fade. And then you can play around with the duration, maybe make that a little bit longer so it stretches out a bit. Okay, the last step is to get those two text boxes to line up exactly so that it looks like just one text box to the learner. And an easy way to do that is to select them both. So I'm going to select one and then hold down my shift key and select the other one. And then up here on the format tab, you're going to have some align options in this arrange portion of the menu. Um, in my menu right now, um, I'm only seeing the icon, but you might actually see the word align next to this icon when you look at it. We're going to choose, um, it's kind of a two-step process here. We're going to first choose align center, and then we're going to click that button again, and then choose align middle. And that lines up those two text boxes exactly. So they are stacked one on top of the other. And the one with the red word is on top. That's why we can see it right here. So now let's go ahead and preview this. So we'll preview just this slide and see what we ended up with. So there's our slide and then the word specific kind of you know, comes into focus in a different color. So it's a pretty neat effect. Now you might wonder why we would duplicate the entire text box for this when we're really only drawing attention to that single word or phrase. And really for me, the answer is it's quicker to do it this way, to just duplicate the whole thing. It's very easy to line the two text boxes up because their size and their contents are identical. So you don't have to monkey around with alignment because you can just stack them exactly on top of each other by selecting them and using those alignment options on the PowerPoint menu.